Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kill723, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Splash. So we just came out of, uh, well, we just went on a journey through the refinery and the water monster park to enter the back hall. I don't want to go that way right now because I know it's down there. Uh, well, let's go this way because the door opened up over here, so I'm probably supposed to go this way first, even though I know what to do from here. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? Whoa. It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So... You have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Down. Sadly, the elevator is broken right now. It's not working. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Yeah. 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 No. 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 Okay. Hmm. It's locked. Oh, excuse me. Find the way that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Well, I can't stall going in, going down there for much longer. Study. Is this another dr Oh, this looks good. In the box. Uh, let me take that. I said, let me take. I said, let me take. Thank you. There we go. Sure is a lot of crap in this room. My friend just texted me. He said, cool. I'm going to a laser tag thing for his birthday party. I am quite excited. Are those books going to fall over? I think those books are going to fall over. Give me. Yeah. S oh, stop that noise. That is not cool. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, John Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodormus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its name. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in the nearby village called... I still haven't figured out how to pronounce that town. Investigating one of the... An Antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these en enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand. Oh, I don't want to read all of that. Okay. Beast of the Guardian. Or. <laughs> I just said Beast of the Guardian. Beast, guardian of the orb, 
He's chasing me, killed some people. Agrippa. That noise needs to stop. Any monsters? That owl is a nice touch. Oh, God, this room. All right, let me break the chair. Well, not break the chair, break the window first. The chair! Oh, this is gruesome. And I think a skull falls out here. Whoa! That was so creepy. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah, you're ugly. Give me that. Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 Alexander! I get boned. Hold on. I need to find something. There we go. I'm a little slow now. Hey, 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 Alexander! I get boxed! <laughs> get boned, get boxed. If you don't know, I'm referencing a Markiplier thing where he says the same stuff while throwing stuff at a monster. Uh, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment, the an antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans em emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. The fact that he keeps, uh, skulls in his desk drawer, that is really disturbing. But is there anything else in here? Yeah, get these skulls out of the way. Hello! That was a very loud skull. Seems like a rather suspiciously placed book. There's nothing there. How- What is the purpose of this? Like, why does this guy have a dong? Okay. Let's give him a head. Yay! <laughs> Look at that! That is great. I'm taking a picture of that. That is great. Boop! Okay, enough screwing around. Ah, oh, shovel. Uh, did bird, did dog. Understanding balance, milestones of human anatomy, the canine jaw. Jaw! Let's see what you oh have dear. To offer. I don't want to listen to that. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genius. 
There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed. But it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately are arguments their experience of terror. <laughs> Poor puppy. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. That is sick. And not sick in the, the cool way. Oh yeah, that was scary. This looks rather suspicious, but there's nothing on it. Emergency de-accelerator. Chamber control. Using steam power for elevation. Elevator schematics. Dot, dot, dot. Elevator renovation plans. So what exactly is on this dot, dot, dot? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was... Oh, excuse me. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up at eight, up eight, and down eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Got the hammer. And a cog wheel. Hey, tender boxes. I haven't really been using my tender boxes. Since I don't stay in an area for too long, I generally don't use them. Yeah, that was scary. Excellent. Oh, there was some oil here. Oh, hello. Okay. Look at that tiny little painting. Well, I guess size doesn't matter. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one with an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Monster comes in here. Uh, last time I played this game uh, was in late December. Something very... My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? That's why the pages are everywhere, because the journal was stolen. Um, last time I played this was in uh, late December, and something very strange happened. The, the grunt that comes through this door did not come through the door. It was like that event didn't even happen. And I found that to be extremely strange. Daniel? What? Still having nightmares, I see. 
Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Paintings. I think Dan must have been drinking. July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Crowbar. Ah, back to the Half-Life days. Yeah, I got a crowbar. Oh. Third of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. Dryly. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. Oh he finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. Oh, I think I know what happened. Last time, I tried to block up the door as best I could. And I'm going to try to do that again. So, I mean, I think the grunts are able to uh, push crap aside when it's in their way. Yeah, that works. I read one of these books, kind of, uh, bam. Funny. Cannot use this item this way. Well, that was sure it was a pretty weak crowbar. The key. Please, let it be here. An important key is hidden in the guest room. Well, that was easy. Well, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it, then. July, 1839. It's done! 
The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. All right. There he is. Yeah, good luck finding me, buddy. I think he's right outside. Nope, not even gonna open it. Okay, bye, buddy. Thanks for wasting my time. How did he get through? How did he get in? One, how did he get in? And two, how did he get out? He panted heavily, to himself from collapsing. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Strange letter fright. All right, let's go back to the monsters. <sighs> the darkness in the, in the storage feels strange and unnatural. so well made. And if you wonder why I'm acting so uh, cautious, a monster spawns in this area as well. Any movements or do anything, you'll never find me. Excellent. All righty. Ow. This is good. A 
equipment. Machine parts. All right, Daniel, pick your poison. That really was unnecessary, but it makes me feel a little bit better. Nope. That is a blood stain. There is a monster behind that door. The rubble from the cave in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find another way to get through. So I remember what I need to do here. I need to make a bomb. Yeah, judging from all the the bones, I think it's pretty clear that there's a monster hiding in there. And I am going to fruitlessly block this door because I know it will not do anything. Uh, let me move these bones out of the way. We have a light. Thank you. That did not help at all. Girl, I, I mean, I understand that I'm not exactly attractive. I'm also quite annoying. But when you cry in front of me, I mean, it's like insulting and it hurts my feelings. I mean, I get it. You're having it rough. I'm having it rough too. Do you see me? I'm carrying these barrels around to block you in or block whatever's in there in. Doink. Okay. To stack the rest of these barrels, knowing that they still won't, knowing that they still won't do anything. Get two more barrels. One. So I just remembered something that even in, if I even if I'm really fast, I don't think I can make it from here or from there here to there when the monster spawns without dying so I need a place to go um okay I'll leave this box right here to throw at the monster because while you can't fight them you can throw objects at them to like stun them temporarily OK. 
Okay. Let me get one more barrel and then I'll go to the next episode. Alrighty. Ah, bam. Good thing these barrels are indestructible. And there goes my stack of barrels. All right, let's get that last barrel on. Gee, I wonder if anything's gonna come out of there. Well, if anything does come out of there, we'll find out in the next episode. So, as I like to say, I love my computer because my friends live in it. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.